617, welcome to Friday. This is our July rainfall calendar. Just about every day with showers and storms around the Albuquerque Sunport and July has resulted in over two inches of rain in the rain gauge. Yeah, that's way over average for this month, and it's actually most of our rain for the calendar year. Now, we were tracking a couple of isolated showers that look like they have ended entirely here around the Elephant Butte and also areas south of Silver City. It's almost 70 in Albuquerque, a more comfortable 60 in Santa Fe, and a comfortably cool 52. Right now in Taos, uh, same rules need to be applied today. You got to open up your windows, let this cool, fresh air in. It's a chance that's a free air conditioning. We still have these high humidity levels, which don't cooperate very well with your swamp cooler. But look at those dew points up around Farmington. They're about 10 to 15 lower, and we do expect west and northwesterly winds today. And that will kind of act to dry skies out and lower humidity levels for a lot of us. Afternoon showers will be limited mainly to the higher terrain. A couple of those showers could roll off the mountains and find you in Los Alamos and also the Española Valley in Santa Fe. Tomorrow afternoon, kind of the same. Story. Most of the showers that do pop up during the afternoon will cling to the mountains and they'll break up as they try to roll off. The heat tolerable in the southeast, only in the low 90s, but we expect mid 90s tomorrow. Temperatures around 100 by Sunday. Rudoso at 81. You could see a couple storms on top of the Sacramentos, but nothing like the active weather of yesterday. Mostly dry the southern Rio Grande Valley, the I 10 corridor. Mid 90s this afternoon, though. Scattered showers over the Gila wilderness. You'll stay dry around Shiprock and Farmington. You're the hottest corner of the state. Look at Shiprock at 97 today. We will see a few afternoon thunder showers. Over this north central high terrain, Los Alamos, Taos, maybe the Espanola Valley, but not nearly as active as the past couple of afternoons. One or two showers roll off the Sangre de Cristos and find you in Raton and Vegas. Mostly dry around Edgewood, close to 90 for the East Mountain Zone. Look at these low to mid 90s for the Albuquerque Metro. It does become increasingly hot as we march through this weekend. Low 90s today, about three hotter than yesterday, and another two or three degrees hotter for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Just kind of holding there in the mid 90s. And unfortunately, in the next seven days, we don't really see a good chance of rain coming back to the Albuquerque Metro anytime soon.